With a surge in coronavirus cases and hospitalizations across many states, President Trump's handling of the pandemic is taking a toll on his re-election prospects. With the president trailing Joe Biden in polls in six swing states that he won in 2016. I don't want to be nice or unnice, okay? But, I mean, the man can't speak. And he's going to be your president because some people... Don't love me, maybe. Biden, campaigning in Pennsylvania, condemned the president for saying he'd ordered a slowdown of coronavirus testing. He thinks that finding out that more Americans are sick will make him look bad. Well, this pandemic didn't happen to him. It happened to all of us. Meanwhile, with protesters in the nation's capital rallying around plans to tear down the Emancipation Memorial honoring Abraham Lincoln standing over a freed slave, U.S. Park Police late Thursday put up fencing and stood guard around the nearly 150-year-old statue. President Trump delivered this new warning if the destruction of statues does not stop. Every night we're going to get tougher and tougher. And at some point there's going to be retribution because there has to be. These people are vandals, but they're agitators, but they're really, they're terrorists in a sense. But the president also expressed openness to removing some controversial statues. We can take things down too, but they ought to go through a process legally, and then we take it down, in some cases put them in museums or wherever they may go.